Welcome back. Finally. This has been a long time coming. There was a pretty big gap. Not only in the time I was online, but in the recording of this as well. I'll, I'll go into that in a minute. There's a cinematic -y bit coming up. It's just, it, it's been all... Oh, I've mentioned it in the past. I know this is a little bit late in explanation because what well, pre-recorded nope, a fair bunch. I like it. Let's go back to the beach. I like it. This is the right. journey, the realm of treacherous mountains and even more treacherous people. Maybe. And it's aligned with chaos, right? You bet, Jeff. Yeah. Solomon and Atlas Abaddon was trying to overturn the natural balance. <coughs> but chaos was already drawing power from here. Awesome. Doubtless, Abaddon's plan for Ether has simply been to tighten his evil grip. It's just a wild stab in the dark, but I'm presuming these wraith uh, aren't exactly going to be our bosom buddies. We will have to be extremely careful here, Jen. But there are two castes in Ether. Up there live the Wraith aristocracy. We must really beware of them. They are decadent and dangerous, nice true enemies of my lady Arella. However, the Helot, living in the village over there, are rather different. They live in squalor, oppressed by their rulers. I think they're too downtrodden to pose us any threat. At least that's how things have always been. But as we've seen, none of the realms are as they were. Ah, don't sweat it, Rocky. We're on a roll. So, where to? We should make our way out of here and round to the village. Oh, that way. No, I like this place. It's... I mean, obviously, the, the rain would become a little bit tiresome after a while. Yes. Anyway. There's, um... There's quite a lot to tell. And I know this, um... I'm not sure how many I'll have uploaded by this point, by the time I get around to this explanation, but I was offline for a while. Uh, for various reasons. I was offline for several months, actually. In fact, at one point, I was almost going to cancel my um, subscription altogether. Uh, I didn't, thankfully. <laughs> that was quite amusing. I, um, I owed Virgin Media £286. A lot of money. Is not budging. For those who don't know, it's about five hundred dollars for context. And they were like, Well, if you don't pay us, we're gonna take you to debt collection and you'll have like judgments against you and you'll start accruing interest. And I Oh, we could knock off two thirds of it and you just pay us that and then everything will be hunky hunky dory. I was like, hmm. What a tough choice. So yeah. So I went with that idea, shockingly enough. And then um, I was unable to make a couple of payments because I had more financial problems, but I'm not going into details. It, it, it took a little longer than I was supposed to make it. So when I finally did pay it, I paid them two at once. So I said I'd start paying them £10 a week or £20 a fortnight, to pay fortnightly. So, uh, I missed two payments, unfortunately, so I, I spoke to them and they were very kind and allowed me to continue with the plan. Uh, well, after the first one. And after the second one, I, I spoke to them myself and told them, sorry, it's just a little bit late, so I had problems. So anyway, when I phoned them up, I thought, you know what, sod it. I'm being paid because my, I had a payment that was delayed. I ended up being paid effectively three times in one week, almost. So um, I paid them two weeks at once. And then when the second payment turned up, which is my disability, I was like, you know what, sod it, I paid them again. I uh, paid them another £35, which brought the total to 75 For those who can do math, 14, 29, 35, made 75 So I phoned them up, asked if that was enough to um, have my services reinstated. And they looked at it and they said, yeah, yeah, you, you're now up to date. I was like, Green, so could you give me I was supposed to pay them £103 in total. Uh, <laughs> And um, I paid them 75 This is after they'd reduced it already by two-thirds almost. So I was supposed to pay them 103 I paid them 75 And I'm like, ah, oh, you paid every, you, you paid up now. So in the end, they knocked off three quarters of the total bill for me. And people wonder why I'm so loyal to Virgin. So yeah, now I'm back online. More happy and up-to-date, finally, for the first time in almost two years. 
Not only that, but um, I phoned up because I have my mobile with them as well, and I phoned up to check when I could get a new contract with that, and it was coming up soon. February, I thought. And they said, oh, you know, you can have it now. So I got a new phone. Oh, the, X the Sony Xperia U. And I'm, st I'm still using my iPhone for daily, for regular, you know, daily use and stuff. But I have a free Sony Xperia, which has... Um, a 720 HD camera on it, which is actually pretty decent. I've used it to, to record a few videos. Speaking of which, Scream, will you drain that corpse, please? No, oh, we can't. No. Fair enough. Speaking of which, I uploaded a video yesterday, I think, which will give you an idea of when I'm recording this. Or is it today? Oh, uh, yesterday or today. Um, about Sega. Uh, Shining Force series. Um, there's a chap I know who's been doing a Let's Play of Shiny Force, the first one. He's been playing it on Steam. I'll come back to that in a moment as well, actually. And uh, he received a DMCA claim from Sega. That's the Digital Rights, a Digital um, Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which is a fancy name for saying it's the, the thing that protects the copyright holders for when they create any IP, intellectual property, or any intellectual property, such as a video game, or a film, or whatever, and um, Sega have been making a final lot of claims against YouTube, YouTube users because of Shining Force, and a couple of other things, but primarily Shining Force. Uh, mostly Shining Force 3 and Shining Force Arc or something, like that. Arc of Truth, something like that. And he was one of the ones hit by it. Um, Total Biscuit has also been hit by it, who's significantly larger on YouTube, and both he and I combined several times over. Um, so for those who don't know, yeah, Sega have done that, which is a really dickish move. Was, um, especially considering that they officially issued an official statement in the past saying that you know, as far as things like Let's Plays are concerned, they don't care about people uploading that stuff as long as it's presenting, showing the company in a positive light, which well, Let's Plays most often do because people are playing games because they enjoy them. So yeah, but we've looked into this. There's been a game released on the PS, uh, PSP called Shining Ark, which is a new entry in the Shining Force series, which uh, so far is only available in Japan. And what we're thinking is, um, uh, when people went searching on YouTube, most of the stuff that came up about Shining Force was the older games, mostly Shining Force 3 and Shining Ark, which I find quite weird. I thought Shining Force 2 would be the most popular. But we think what they're doing is they are uh, they make quite a lot of use of YouTube. So they want the older stuff removed so that their official newer stuff will come up more often. Which I really don't like. And uh, not do a lot of other people. A lot of people are now boycotting Sega because of it. Have I said Sony at any nope. point? I hope not. Nope. Not getting We're not getting in uh, this If way. I have, it was a Shridian flip. Anyway. This isn't such a terrible thing, because there is a new Shining Force game. Uh, there was one on the PlayStation 2 a few years nope. ago, which I no, heard wasn't all that good. This way. But there's now another one on the PSP, which I'll be picking up at some point. It's called Shining Arc, by the way, which is probably why they've been moving the one for Shining Force Arc, or whatever it is. Um, but the, the thing I'm thinking about is, remember I mentioned Steam, how you, you can get Shining Force on Steam, and Shining in the Darkness, I have both of them actually. Um, there were also a bunch of Dreamcast games now uh, released on Steam as well. Uh, Crazy Taxi, Sonic, Real Bass Fishing, some others, I can't remember. I have them, but I can't remember what they all were. I think Jet Set Radio, or whatever it's called. Uh, radio jet thing, whatever that one is. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. There's a new Shining game. If it does well, considering that S Sega are now putting more um, focus on the PC than they ever have in the past, then they're putting focus, you know, they're actually doing stuff with the PC. What about a Shining Force game on the PC? Now that that would be a good thing, because, yeah, that would be a very good thing. 
At least I think it would. So I'm kind of primarily PC focused. Speaking of which, I still don't have my computer back. And no, I'm still not going to tell you why it was taken in the first place. But, um, yeah, I was thinking about taking a break from Primal. I mean, obviously I just did for the several months that I wasn't playing and stuff. I was thinking when I came back, because by now the audio syncing issues have been clearly established, uh, I think what's going on is that I have a, a Harpug a DVR a digital video recorder, which is what I do the recording with. And I think what's happening is that for some reason with the PlayStation, something to do with the way it output, it's skipping one frame out of every second because it's roughly two seconds behind after a minute. Two seconds shorter recording than it is video. Uh, they're, they're, they're audio, sorry. So I think what might be happening is it's just, for whatever reason, it's not outputting at the same frame rate. Or it's not recording at the same frame rate or whatever. So I've had a few ideas on how to deal with that, but all of them involve the PC, which I still don't have. Now, I'm not going to tell you what they are, because I like to be all mysterious, but it involves scratch. Mmm. Anyway, um, I have had a few other ideas on how I can address it with this, uh, using Audacity. If I ever so slightly increase the speed of my audio recording, and then track it up, perhaps then I'll have them to approximately the correct sync, or at least closer than it is now. The other thing I do is I actually sit and I go through everything before I um, compile it all and I'll trim the audio in certain places to track it all or you know, and the pauses and things. And, you know. I don't ever say I don't do anything for you. I mean, there are, my, I get like three or four views per video, so it's not like, it's, and at least one of them is me because I always watch my own video after I've uploaded it just to make sure it's all worked properly and shit. So, yeah, so I won't say I never do anything for a few, three, four, however many people it is in that season. I put a lot of effort into this. And I expect nothing in return. So, yeah, yeah be aware of that fact. I have a case of the verbal diarrhea at the moment, and it's almost like I'm doing a vlog. I suppose, in a way, I kind of am. I'm doing a video game log. <laughs> So I'm doing a vlog. Vlog? Vlog? Sounds Magofu? Yeah, something like that. Uh, I don't know. Stuff and things and stuff and things. Come on, grab that on the wall. Right, so, what's going on? Well, my cat is eating. Nan bread? Nope. I think? Not yet. Nope. I don't know where she gets it from, but she just comes in every now and then with a bunch of. With stuff in her mouth. Hello, darling. Speak of the devil. She just jumped up next to my shoulder. She's. I don't know if you heard that. Now. Oh, God, she's gone back to being insane. She's running around all over the place like a lunatic. Like a recidivist. She is a recidivist. We're not getting no. We're not getting really? this way. What is that symbol on that? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I forgot. Um, I've started uploading two videos a day. Well, I haven't actually, because what I do is I. Like the entire thing, I upload it and then it's use the YouTube editor to cut pleasant. it down into 10 to 15 minute chunks. But I've started publishing or making public two videos per day. It's after a conversation with a very good friend of mine. I was thinking about it because uh, initially I was recording as I was uploading, as I was doing a little bit a day, but I started to get. It was around the time we were doing Dead Space 2, actually, because I was playing that for the first time. I started getting into the game, and I wanted to continue with it. So I started recording more in one go. Nope. And we're I just sort of got into nope. the habit of doing that. We're not getting in this way. So I think I'm getting a pretty hefty backlog, and I don't want, like, two years' worth of videos just sat around doing nothing for ages and ages and ages. So I'm going to start up doing two a day. So I'll get through them a little bit faster, and I'll be around around half an hour-ish. But for the moment, until I finish this game, I'm going to do two primal videos per day. After that, and then it's I'm going to have two games running at the same time. To be recorded kind of weak, froggy, intermittently-ish. 
Also, it'll make things a little bit more interesting. It'll get my video count up faster because everybody knows that's the only thing that matters. It's like being on a forum. High forum, high post count makes your penis bigger. Penis! Uh, yes, I'm being very immature today, aren't I? Well, I don't care. It's stuff. I'm talking about things. Stuff. Yes. Anyway, yeah, so, um, I'm not sure which two games I'm going to do next. I still haven't finished this one. I have recorded bits and pieces of some others intermittently here and there. I mentioned that I've done some on Bioshock. Uh, which I do plan on uploading at some point. I just I find it. Uh, I'll, I'll go in. I'll go into full details in the video itself. I just find that game difficult to play. It just doesn't we'll grab me the way it seems to grab everybody else. So, nah. So, um, you know, I can't really finish that one in a rush, but that'll be uploaded eventually. Nope. Whole bunch of others. Getting, I want the nope. PC back. If I had my PC back, I'd be way. doing it so much better. There are so many more games available, so for the moment I'm trying to keep it to um, games that are only available on consoles. So, you know, if a game's available on the PC, I want to do it on the PC, because it's a lot less fanning it around, but just get traps on and then go play the game. Plus, you know, technical problems are a lot easier for me to address, and I'm far more familiar with dealing with games, plus they did it work better, which isn't that big of a deal, but, you know. I do think about quality. Quality is important. Plus, I've just been uncomfortable playing on the PC. I know it's weird. Most people prefer to sit in their chair and play with their controller. I, just, I like the mouse and the keyboard. Um, and I have a lot, hell of a lot of ideas for games to do on that because I have many. I was thinking of doing the Shining series actually. The Shining in the Darkness, Shining Force, and Shining Force 2. I think. But with the way so I said so many yeah, I'll try to inflict with the way Sega have been about it is I'm not sure if I will. I don't wanna you know lose everything I've uploaded and I don't want my I don't wanna come to blows with Sega because well, you know, I've been a wild fan of Sega for many years. And I mean many years. So yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I just checked my uh, recording. It seems to be. It actually seems to be recording correctly this time. So, hmm, maybe this synchronization won't be an issue after all. That'd be ironic, wouldn't it? That'd be going into great lengths explaining how it's been a major problem for me, and then it seems to have repaired itself. It's possible. I've heard that there are some things I can do if I have um, later versions of uh, ITV. That's E Y E, by the way, not I like iPhone or iPad. Um, but I'm running on 10.4, I think. No, I've actually forgotten. I keep thinking, no, it must be 10.4 because I had a problem playing a game on. It said it needed 10.5 earlier. Which one's 10.4? Is it Tiger? Yeah, it's Tiger, isn't it? I have Tiger. Um, because it's an old Mac and I can't afford to go and get the new one. And having now used the Mac OS, OS X, uh, I consider it well worth paying for. It's not like Windows where I just go, <laughs> incidentally, I won't be getting Windows 8 because it has the X11.1 Rapture. So will Windows 7. Plus, DX11 isn't really the big deal that they made it out to be. It could be if people started using it, but they're not. Still, not it was definitely a bigger jump than DX. Is not budging. DX10 was basically DX DX9 light. Oh, I just received a text message. Huh. One time I'll leave my phone behind. It's in the other room, but yeah. yeah. Whoever it is, whatever it is, it can play. I have more important things to do. I'm playing Primal! And I'm being stalked by a cat. She's like, I am a recidivist. I really do have a case of the verbal diara here today, don't I? Ooh! Up the village! So what are these things around? Is this because the, the locals aren't doing much? So we get these things instead. They look kind of like some kind of jawa dog. I mean, seriously, look, those things, their faces make them look like they have hoods, like jowers. 
Oh, like death. Oh, like something out of Dead Space. I've been seeing stuff for Dead Space 3. Little bits and pieces. I try to avoid like trailers and stuff as much as possible. So I don't like to uh, go and track down every piece of minutia I can possibly find because that kind of ruins the experience. I've seen a few bits and pieces, and it looks, yeah, it looks alright. Uh, I still, in a lot of ways, think that the first one was the best. I did like Dead Space 2, and I think that there were a lot of things about it that were better than the first game. And the fact that I was exposed for a start. But um, I actually think, overall, the first game was just better. It was more solid. It was certainly better atmospherically speaking. Oh! Oh! God, but, ah! That was annoying. I just wasted one of my health thingy bobs completely unnecessarily. Which is ironic because I was. Uh, I uploaded. I was looking at one of the videos uh, where I lost one of my little thingy bobs whilst playing um, in the fishy area. Whoa, there's another one. What are these things around? I don't know. Uh, very heavy place. Seems to be missing a lot of it because of that. Kicking over its head and stuff. There we go. There we go. You're mine now! You're mine, my bird. You will be killed to death by me. I will beat you until you die. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, I wasn't quite the one I was going for. That's what I'm like. Oh! Piffle! It didn't damage it, it didn't kill it fast enough to like, knock it down by accident. There we go. Right, come on, Screeticus. Where you at? There we go. Come here. Om nom nom, om nom nom, om nom 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 nom. And whilst he's going and draining these other ones over here, I'm just going to quickly check the sound. I think one of the speakers just went a bit wibble again. There's another one up here, wasn't there? Yeah. No, the speaker's fine. No, <sighs> I just heard what sounded like a pop. It's, um, I have a home cinema kit, and each one, each speaker is wired in individually with these little plug things that the wires can come out of. No. It's not. The cats have a thing about laying on the back of my DVD player, which is where it's all plugged in through. So, yeah. Sometimes they they knock the, the cable loose. You know, seems to be fine. Hmm? Could just, it could also be the way I'm sitting. I tend to sit a bit left-sided, not lopsided, left-sided. I tend to sit more to the left, so everything on the left does tend to sound a little bit louder for me. It's just not gonna budge. Room we'll have to look for another way in. Well, I know you care so very, very much about the ins and outs of my daily life. This is why I tell you about this in my my vlog. My video game log. Yes, I am doing a vlog. A vlog. A vlog. Mm. Just think what this would look like. Upscaled a little bit. And properly, you know. Look back at some of the games that have come previously, and we think that you know we talk about the, the the vast leap between console generations, but seriously, the one between this generation and the current one, not this budging. as in the one you're watching, and the current generation, the, the, the jump isn't not nearly as pronounced as people have made it out to be. I mean, look at this. This is a damn nice looking game. Yeah, they run smoother for the most part. Um, some of them have higher frame rates now, um, higher resolution certainly, but the actual quality stuff. It's this not is a bunch. really good looking game. We'll have to look for another way in. Plus, it helps that it has a very good art direction. I mean, even this, it's a very grey, it's a very grey, it's a very grey drab environment. But it's done that way intentionally. It it doesn't seem dull like you get. Everything is 
careful with your landing spot. And of course, you have Solon, which is very icy and stuff. And you had um, Quillis, which was watery. And then the next one we get is very hot. So it does, yeah, it basically often need you. Plus, then there's of course, the necklace and stuff. Because, um, another environment. Oh, of it's tight. Do one, do one. Go away. Stop beating me to death. At least these these guys are actually challenged, unlike the little dog creatures that were in the middle. I mean, these actually need a yeah, watchman do. Finish and move. Unlike the ones that were in um, uh, Solus and Phyllis. Oh, I can't even kill this Oh, he's already starting to drain stuff. In that case, I'll change that. So I, can... yeah. Yeah, I do tend to spend most of my time in this farm. I've mentioned it before because, well, she moves that stuff. <clears throat> Which is quite useful. Yeah. Pardon me. But I didn't drain his health. I didn't drain any gnomes from him, did I? Come here. No, 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 no. No, wait. I'll finish. Finish? Speaking of omnoms, my cat's just come in with something else from outside. Remember I said she was eating pita bread? Oh, I didn't finish that, did I? Nan bread. Sorry, I think she was eating some nan bread. She's now brought something else in. She keeps doing this. She goes outside and then she comes back in with something in her mush. I'm not 100% sure where she gets it from. I think nope. maybe some of it is from We're the takeaway next way. door, and there's a butty shop a few doors down. Maybe she gets it out of their bins. I don't know why. She doesn't need it. I feed her all the time. She's very well fed. And now we have a cinematic. Those dinky little legs finally uh. giving up on you, Scree? I mean, that's a lot of granite to be mulling. I shall rise above the personal <laughs> insults and Nice to have something you do rise above, Rocky, my boy. And simply caution you to slow down. I don't like the sound of this place. Okay, sorry. I hear the rain. I don't hear anything. Exactly. This village, this square should be bustling right now. It is a tough world to live in. The Wraith peasantry usually pack this place, scraping some way to survive. Why is it deserted? It's not. It's a conspiracy. When you're sounding scared, I know this is bad. Why can't we just one stumble upon fairground or birthday party? Just dun, dun, dun. Oh, no, Jen, someone's coming. Uh oh. We got company. Keep well hidden, Jen. This isn't going to be pleasant. There's circus, ice rink, picnic in the park. That's a nice piece of wood. Ridiculous hairdo. But my dearest beauty, yeah, can't you simply smell their presence? Cowering, pathetic, filthy. Now that, that is style. To draw and take up their sacrifice. The vermin. My lord. I have the pleasure is waiting you when we are cleaning this nauseous place. The pleasure will be yours, Ampusa, my dear. Not an image, I'm. Yeah. Let us to the business. Thanks for putting that in my head. Why are they speaking English?
And a number that simple comes before for your peasant skulls. One, one is the number meager. that comes before two. One meager sacrifice from this village. A strong, but as you know, a strong, worthy of things. A young, powerful man or an athletic woman full of vigor. Well, perhaps you should. Perhaps you should feed them better. The rant of your pathetic litter. <laughs> now, before this infested pit causes my divine and suicide to vomit, we shall leave you to select your village's true sacrifice. Captain Valir, I will return shortly to collect the replacement. And my never Lord. make this mistake again. My lord. Come and see the look of sheer relief on this weary old man's face. Now that he has been seen. They're like the ultimate goths, aren't they? <laughs> what oh. Ah, so thankful and pathetic. It is lucky day. Are you sure, my love, that you don't want me to pluck out an eye? Very long fingers. At all, for our little Elizabeth. No, no, my beloved. Leave it without me. What is that in her hair? Just cut his throat. These are the ones that you have to bear with Nijana Ivila. These are the ones that you have to bear with Nijana Ivila. Speaking of no points for guessing which colour energy this one is. Always was a perilous place. Now it's chaos and it's worse. You know that period. Count and countess, realm and the nation. The wraith aristocracy have always Ultimate been evil, living in decadence while the hellots starve. But this is all new. Blood sacrifice. You see the way he moved? Time shifting, wraith specialty. Along with good looks and charm. I can't watch and let them get away with that. First, we Hello. Know exactly what that is a on. nice coat. Right, guys. I've been watching um, the Jeremy might. Brett Sherlock Holmes recently. Shall we follow him? This is the new one on the BBC, the updated one. I haven't actually watched yet, but in the late eighties and early nineties, um, they did some slightly updated. I believe they were set like fifty years. After, yeah, that's where I came from. 50 years after the original novels, which I really must read. Still haven't read them. But, uh, yeah, it starred Jeremy Brett. And I think because um, the BBC have been doing their version recently, ITV have been showing their ones, their the old ones, like, you know, we did it first, sort of thing. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because the coat that Jeremy Brett wears as Sherlock Holmes is very similar to the one and that Wraith we just saw run off. By the way, speaking of Wraith, Meredith is a girl's name. I will give cookies, and I mean seriously, I will bake them myself. I will even record a video of myself doing Charlie to show Wraith. I'll make cookies. I will send them to you from the post if you give me your address to so whoever correctly identifies that quote. First. Yeah, anyway, that's the sort of, um, he wears a coat very similar to that, or the black one. I was talking to a friend recently, who was a big fan of the, the new Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Sherlock, is the name's called, with Benedict Cumberbatch. So I finally talked her into watching the Jeremy Brett version, and uh, she commented herself to the clothing they wear in that. I mean, Watson wears check. And he's still an absolute boss. Very, very sharp. From a time when men really knew how to dress, and it wasn't swag, it was style. Genuine style. You do with a lot more of that, to be honest. Okay, maybe the styles are somewhat archaic, so that's not that kind of style, but certainly akin to that. You need. I think you need to learn how to dress properly, not go with swag and uh, how to look presentable, how to be, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, it's just... 
Let people eat. Ah, oh. another one gone. I just think people these days just don't get it the way they used to. They don't care for their appearance. Our standards are so radically different from what they used to be, and not in a good way. Yeah, that's my ten cents worth. Very on. I'm all uh, socio-political again. I suppose this is the right sort of game for it. There's a lot of uh, social commentary and you know deeper symbolism and such in here. Ah, it's a rift gate then. Uh, ooh, what's going on there? Oh, not more of them. I'm not happy with these things. They've made me use two of my thingy me bob. What was I actually using them for a time? I'm just sat there doing now. Usually in games, I find that I have an overabundance. I mean, it's got six left, so I'm not exactly missing them, am I? But still, it's frustrating that the way I've lost them. I can't remember how to block. Why are you going to have a block? I'm sure there's a block. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there goes another one! Bollocks! Pardon my French, but this is bollocks! Come here, you! Come here! What the hell? Die! I'm not through killing you yet! I'm not doing a finishing move! I'm gonna beat the shit out of you a bit first! Pardon my French. That was... Now that was annoying! That was seriously annoying! Come here, you! Come here! Bloody thing. What the hell was that? And relax. Seriously, two of them! Almost three! Calm down, Kiwi. Calm down. You're dead now. Come here. There is one as well. How is going on? the hell was with that thing? I couldn't hit it. It wasn't even letting me move. It, was, it just murdered me. Ugh, it was teaching me a lesson. Don't get cocky. Great kid, don't get cocky. Yeah, anyway. No, don't want to go anywhere. Come on. Let's go chase after this dude up here. And that's the way I was supposed to be going. I just went this way because my always turn left for office. Oh, because I have magnificent horse powers. Right. Maybe I am supposed to go that way, I'm not sure. I think I'm having... Okay. What's that? Am I still managing to, um, yeah, be slumped over like that? Slumpity, slumpity. Slump, 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 slump. Nah, I can't know that way. What's with the dramatic music all of a sudden? Oh, I mean, how do you cup of tea? I always need tea, though. I mean, how many times have you heard me making tea whilst I've been recording these things now? Quite a few, I'm sure. Ooh, ooh. Break, break, break! Yeah. Yeah, can't go through that for some reason. Let's see, is there anything over here? Ah! I thought his head was on fire then. <laughs> so it's the Ghost Rider. Yeah. Oh, not more things. Oh, piffle glinks. Okay. Maybe I should learn to block more. Like that. She didn't follow up with the second attack for some reason. Oi! Oi! Thank you. Ah! 
Yeah, I should start blocking a bit more often. I have a habit of not doing that when I really should. Come on. Fucking away, man. Oh! Ah! Uh. I still take damage when I'm defending. Not a massive amount, but I do still take damage. Ah! 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 Oh, he recovered again. Ah! Ah! Hey! Still not dead! Thank you! Leave me in heck! That was a thing. Anyway, I was going to say that whilst I was watching that little cinematic, I was going to make put the kettle on, but maybe he didn't act on that, so I couldn't. Oops. I keep getting the timing really badly wrong on this one shot. Uh, at least I know there's a rift gate nearby, so... The great thing is, if I avoid his attack for long enough, my L3 fails on its own! Although it's not help, my spiritual energy, or whatever you want to call it. Oh god, what have you brought in this time? She's brought in something else! She hasn't eaten the last thing she brought in yet, and now she's brought in something else! I think it's a piece of pork chop. Seriously, cat, what is with you? She has food! So it's not like she's going hungry. She's just like, yeah, I'm gonna bring you more food, man. Like, you are a recidicant. And she's just looking at me like, yeah, whatever. She's, she really is weird, this one. She comes up to me and starts rubbing her face against my head. Well, oh, her head against my face. I, oh, scree, get it, you... Uh! Thank you. Uh, which is all cute and everything. And the, But the problem is, after doing that for a little while, she's all really happy and bouncy. Then she turns around and starts rubbing her bottom against my face, which isn't quite so pleasant. And she's up on the couch next to my head at the moment, so I'm concerned that she might start doing it. Well, thankfully, she seems to be more interested in um, twisting herself, staring at me like, I'm going to eat your face. And I'm like, no! And she's like, oh, no, no. Licking her lips and everything. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know where I come out with this stuff from. And I don't know where it comes from. I just know that I do. It's just reason stuff. I want a cup of tea. And I'm hungry as well. So, I don't know how much longer I'm going to record in this one. My tummy's really starting to complain. I mean, it's only 20 past 3. I've been, oh, I've been exercising a lot lately, though. And I've noticed my appetite, which has always been quite significant, has gone... Insane recently. It used to be a case of that I could just eat, I could just eat and eat and eat. Uh, now I actually feel hungry most of the time, so it's not just a case of being able to, it's actually my tummy saying, You need food. Oh, there you go, that was a very. Yeah. That was. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Boo! Thank you! Oh, God, that was. Yeah, hilarity ensues. Oh. <sighs> oh I'm hungry. It's because I haven't eaten yet. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, comedy timing for the win! Oh, right, what's up here? Oh, one of those thingy bobs. This was done today, you'd get achievements for them. Uh, trophies or whatever. Uh, hello, what's that? Interesting. Is that, is that a centaur? What the hell is that? They're riding on some giant frog! Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I wonder if I can drop down. No, apparently not. Yeah, I can climb down. What the hell is he? Why didn't you follow me up, you dozy moo? You're quite capable of climbing ladders. I've seen you do it several times. Right. 
What are you doing, Mog? What are you doing? 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 She's like, I'm a cat, and I'm not going to beat your face. Oh no, she's coming over to attack me now. She's trying to beat my face. Yes, you little Mog. You are a little cat. Alright, you think this is where um, the guy lives? As it seems like it's leading you back inside the building, so I think I'm about to catch up to him. And get my next, um, the next transformation. Which, yes, if you haven't guessed it, it has purple energies. It's the proper gothic. They are the goths. Very gothic. Very hedonistic. That the whole hedonistic thing actually comes into play later as a, as a plot point. Um, but I'll let that come up as it comes up. And I'm going to go back to Jen for a little while. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, another one of those thingy rocks. Or not. That is a big barrel. I wonder if I can break that one. Please have beer inside it. Beer! I like that word. I'm not a big fan of beer and alcohol in general, but I, I do like the word beer. It just has a it just has a great sound to it. It's just one of those words. Beer. Yes? No? Maybe? What do you think? I like it anyway. It's a very big door. It's not gonna budge. Oh. We'll have to look for another way. Then. It's not going to budge. Glad to like that. We'll have to look for another way in. Uh, said there was somebody hiding down here, but where? Uh, I say. I say, I say, I say. I don't see anywhere else that I can go. We're coming down those stairs. Um. So I'm going to have to go back to where that rift gate was. Where's it telling me to go? Oh, no, wrong button. Oh, it's telling me to look around here. Focus out. Focus out. Focus. Gave me to focus. What now, then? There is definitely someone down here. Yeah, but where? What now, then? There is definitely someone down yeah. here. Let's look Watch around, this. see what we can find. I don't see anybody. And there aren't really that many places to hide in a room like this. Let's So that door can't be opened. It's free, climb up there perhaps? No, there doesn't seem to be anything up there. Up there maybe? Oh. Keep forgetting you can't turn the camera to look up whilst you're moving. That's why it keeps doing that. No, uh, it's still three things. Me trying to look up. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't see anyone. Heard a voice telling me to leave, and then nothing. Nobody here. But he's saying. Hey, Bree. What do you think we should be doing now? Hey, Scree. Yeah, but where? What do you think we should be doing now? There is definitely someone down here. But where? Well, that we is find. the question. Why did that music just come into my head? Um, 
come up. Nope. I'm gonna try and can he go up that wall? No, he can't go up the wall either. No. And this door's locked. Where? This way appears to be bar. Yeah. So where am I going then? This way appears to be barred. I actually really don't remember this. At all. No, yeah, I really don't. Uh huh. There's nobody there. Definitely nobody here. If there is anybody there, then they are, they really are the master of hiding. Because, you know, I can't see him. Anyway. Hmm. Can you climb that? Nope, can't climb these walls. Nothing he can possess. Nothing you can pick up, that floor there, maybe we both stand on this part of the floor. Yeah, this looks like it can be moved, actually, thinking about it. Right, it's starting to glow. Why is it starting to glow? Doing the glow thing. Alright, I think it's telling me that I can go down there. Uh, which means screen needs to pick things up, carry them over to break that hole in the floor. I yeah, honestly don't remember this, but I mean I've done that breaking things, breaking the floor with weights before. It's just there don't seem to be any weights here. So. But yeah, look at this, like, scoring mark on the floor there. Aha. Uh, 